Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another From the Depths a Sinking Ship video, and the focus of today is to sink the King George V, who is over there in the distance and already firing at me. Um, the uh, tools for today are going to be my Mamba, which, is, which has already been used several times, but I've done some modifications to it. I took out the uh, big gun in the middle and stuck on four Sallies, if you like. They're the, uh, <laughs> the CRAM guns you have available uh, in the... Uh, editor. So I've stuck on four sallies, which are pretty big and pretty powerful. And uh, I've reduced the amount of torpedoes as well, so we've got torpedoes down there. Uh, so enough about that bullshit, now we're going to go off and hunt down King George V. Now the King George V, British battleship of course, don't normally like sinking British battleships, but uh, there you go. Now this is one of the uh, in-game ships um, that comes with the, uh, what's it, the, uh, what's it called, deadly Deadly Waters, whatever it is. But she's firing at me now, so I'm going to return fire with uh, my C-Ram cannon. Try and knock out these big guns and knock out that one. See if I can. I'm going to stop where I am. I don't want to get too close because I'm, I'm quite vulnerable. Because I'm. Really, this ship is metal. I'm made out of light alloys, so I don't really want to get too close. So that's my first shot. I've done some damage already. Not a huge amount, but so there we go. I'm just trying to take out these big guns first. And then we can get a bit closer because I don't know what's going to happen if I get too close. Just lean that way. See the shells coming in. And there that Oops, one bounced. And uh, that first gun is, I think, completely destroyed. So, yep, the uh, some of the, the barrels have all fallen off. So you can see that gun's out of action. Let's take out the next one. And I'll set off some torpedoes as well, just try and sink this bugger. And if I if I can, I'll set off some missiles as well, see if they actually attract to the ship. So let's see what happens. There's the missile uh, the shells and they missed. Missiles are incoming, but I don't think they're gonna do much. Or are they? And they will hit the funnel. They're heat, they're heat seeking missiles, so they went for the funnel, so that's that's those things. Here come some more shells. Onto the gun there, and the torpedoes are still incoming, and they're going to hit the bow. Straight into the side of her bow, so hopefully that's done enough. Nope, she's still fighting us. Look at that! completely obliterated it, but there's there's quite a few layers inside there, so you're not going to sink with just a single shot. The problem is my ship will. So we let's try and fire a few more shells, try and take out a few guns, I'll get a bit closer then. The guns are falling short, is there something wrong with them? I don't know. Nothing wrong with those ones, but they all bounced. Damn you. Okay, let's try a different tactic. Let's try a different gun. Let's try and aim at these ones. She's definitely listing now. She's damaged. Well, we know she's damaged below the waterline because she uh, took a few shells, uh, a few torpedoes to the bow. There comes a few more. Ah, oh, yes, taking out a gun. Taking out two guns. That gun's gone, or the, <laughs> the whole front end of that gun's gone. Okay, a few more torpedoes, hopefully. Let's go back to my ship in a minute. And, yeah, I am damaged. But not very much, though. The shells are hitting. Right below this centre gun here, this back centre gun, there is the ammo storage, and that is a very vulnerable place. So if that gets hit, I'm dead. So I've got to try and take out those big guns. Fly back over towards the ship, and you can see the torpedoes are on their way still. Are they actually going to hit? I don't know where George, uh, George is there, but I don't think the torps are going to hit. Unless they change their angle. I think they're going to miss. Or are they? Some, some are going to hit. Oh, no, they're going to miss. Damn you. She's got a renewable stern on that ship. Let's head over back to me again. I'm going to try and turn my ship this way. 
Then we launch some more torpedoes. We fire some more shells. Always fun. Let's see what those shells hit. Right at the side. One to the bridge as well. And the bridge is taking a hit so you can get inside there now. So she is taking bad damage. I'm going to try and take out this gun here. From where are those torpedoes? They're heading for the bow again. Here comes the torpedoes. The shell's bounced again, that's annoying. But that gun's out of action now, the barrels have gone. And she's got damage to the side. Oh, some torpedoes have hit the side there, so that's Nakada there. And that's only blown the inside skin as well, so she's the double the double layer skin is damaged, so now she's vulnerable. Problem is though, she's still got one of these. <laughs> Let's try and take it out. Probably she she can maneuver her stern. She knows when I'm firing, so she can maneuver her stern. So they don't but not enough. And that's taken out all but one barrel, so another shot and that gonna be out of action. Launch a few more torpedoes over there. Missed. But never mind. The propellers I think are the next target really. Can't really aim at them, they're in the wrong way. They're too low. So, where's those torpedoes going to hit? They're down there. Now they're heading the right direction, I don't think they are. But you can really see the list. She is she is damaged badly. But she's still going. And the torpedoes are going to hit right in her side. So she's been holding the side, but she's still off <laughs> Actually, apart from that compartment there, I think there's only the skin that's been damaged. So she, her double layer skin is keeping her above the water, although she has listed a bit more now. I really want to get rid of these propellers just to try and stop her from moving. But her guns are pretty much out of action. So if I can try and knock out her propellers, Stop her from moving. Uh, too low. Okay, so I set those torpedoes off. Yeah, there's a set of torpedoes coming. Head back to my ship a minute and maneuver around again because I'm because she's moving away and I'm not. I haven't got any AI on this ship, so I'm having to control her manually. I'm going to get a bit closer now. Fire a few more shells over here. I think that would do. And let's see where those shells ended up. All attacking the super stretcher, but she's still going. And if torpedoes are fired, I think they all missed. Yeah, they've all gone by. So that's a pity, but never mind. Let's fire a few more. Torpedoes are always fun. And I'm closer as well, so they won't uh, miss as easily. So there you can see the torpedoes down there. They should fly straight into her side. Just readjust again. And get torpedoes right into her side at the stern. Oh, that's quite a bad one. So now she's listing even more. Oh, she's going to tip over. And yeah, she's tipping badly. That's not a good sign. I don't think she's going to last long now. Especially when I do that to her. Yep, she is going over. Still kicking up a fight though. Let's launch a 
few more torpedoes, get the job done. And yep, yeah, she's gonna I don't think she's gonna go right the way over, I don't think she's gonna survive much. She's still firing though. But at least I might be able to take out these bloody things on the stern, there's a guns there. If I can take out her propellers. Try and maroon her. Torpedoes hitting all along the tops now. She's still got three or four propellers. She's almost completely inverted now. These bloody propellers, they won't go away. Um yep, that's not that's knocked off the propeller shaft, but the propeller itself will stop and fall off in a second. Uh so that is all four propellers done, so she ain't gonna go nowhere now, even, <laughs> even though she's completely upside down. She's still picking up a fight as well. If we look at the damage now to that side, you can see why she tipped over. She's completely obliterated on one side. And, uh, not very much other. So if I, if I can get a bit closer now. Even, bloody hell, she's still firing, even though she's upside down. Uh, that's ridiculous. Okay, let's fire a few more torps. And a few more shells. Let's try and sink the bastard. I don't think I'll be able to sink her, but she is as good as sunk. I mean, she's upside down for God's sake. That's sinking enough. She's got some pretty tough armor there, though. I mean, it's, it's a double skin, effectively. And she's still firing at me as well. I think that was ammo storage just gone then. Well, there's a the torpedoes. Yep, she's sinking a bit now. I think there's ammo storage in there. Well, there was at least. If we look inside here. There's plenty of. Uh, there's still plenty of water free space in here. We try and crack open some of these parts apartment. Like that. <laughs> I mean the ship is still moving for some reason. That's part of the momentum of the guns. Come on. Got this compartment's well covered. See the, the the internal skin there. It's basically internal armor. This thing is tough as nails. And she's starting to roll over the other way now. She's starting to uh, do a full circle, if you like. Or oh, she tipped all the way about uh, 180 degrees one way. She wants to tip back again. Jesus, those compartments are tough. Tough as nails. Here comes the torpedoes, drive a go as well. Okay, I think that's done, so I think that's ruptured the compartments in the stern. She's tough as nails, she ain't gonna give up without a fight. Let's see if I can get a bit closer, if I go back to my ship. I'm gonna drive a bit closer again. This long old hike for these these shells is not good enough.
the torpedoes hit in the stern. There comes some more. I don't really think that'd be enough. Here comes some more torpedoes. A little bit more damage, but not enough. Right, well, I think uh, not much is going to come out of this, which is starting to sink a little bit at the stand, but it's not going to be enough to send it up. Big chunk just falling off there, so there's plenty of uh, wreckage. What was that piece? That was just very difficult to tell what's left of the uh, the ship now. So I don't know what that piece was, but it's pretty big and it's fallen off, so um, she's almost been blown in two. Right? So she's completely sort of blown right to the keel in that area there, so she's damaged in every every way possible but she ain't gonna sink but uh yeah she she was pretty much doomed when she tipped over so um there's not much more I can do. there's the engines like you can see um so yeah there's, there's not much more i can do but i can pretty much say i've won so there yeah, that's the uh, the king george and uh or the king george v and uh she's completely stuffed um here's my man but i just go back over it one more time yeah i may put this up on the uh, Steam Workshop, I don't know yet, there's a few things that need ironing out, um, but we'll see, um, but anyway, this is Rich signing off, <laughs> logging off and disappearing, and I may return with another sinky ship video, so uh, bye for now.